Man, I got a little trick up my sleeve. Check out this chair. 15 bucks in a garage sale. Isn't this awesome? It's got the arms. Wait to see what I'm gonna do with this thing. We're gonna turn this into the most incredible throne you've ever seen with a crown, lots of bling, lots of gems, jewels. You're not gonna recognize this chair when I'm done with this thing. Okay, now what we got, we got our spray glue for foam. Make sure when you get spray glue at your home improvement store, make sure it says for foam. Okay? So what we're gonna do is All we're right. gonna take our glue and we're gonna wow. spray. And, and you kind of fold spray. it over the edges yep. a Hold little on, bit? Hold on, let me spray the other side a little bit. And then what you're gonna do, watch your nails, Joni. <laughs> okay? A little here, here, we're good. Perfect. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start up here. And we're gonna bat it down and look at this. You see how that just smoothed that right out? Now it looks like it's a little bit rough here. Well, that doesn't have to worry about it because no. when we take oh. the fabric, we wrap the fabric oh, around it. Okay, this is just and kind that's of it. a just to smooth it out. Layer there. Then the next step, what we're going to do is put the front on, and then the best part is adding the fabric. We attached our chair to the foam throne using zip ties. Use multiple ties to make it really secure. Now we're just tearing up some small pieces of batting to create some plushness for our throne and simply covering it with one large piece of batting. You see we have this nice contour, very lush throne chair. So around the edges, I want it to keep really clean and neat. So what I'm doing is I'm just spraying around the corner and taking it. You see how I'm kind of stretching it so I have this nice overall look and feel here and I'm just tucking it down in here keep it nice and neat then the next thing to do is add our red fabric and man we're gonna have a beautiful throne chair this is our red fabric now that Rodney's putting on and what we've done is we've doubled it up and we've taken the glue and we sprayed it along the edge and we're kind of just tucking it along and just gluing it. It's going to work out perfect, so don't worry about having to cut it and what's the pattern and everything else. It's kind of like just tucking glue and have fun with it. To really give the throne an authentic look, Bruce is simply hammering nails through our fabric to create a tufted look. Now we put the jewels on. This is the fun part. Got Haley here. So what we're gonna do is you take a piece of scrap cardboard and you turn them upside down. Look at this, upside down. But what you're gonna do is you're just gonna lightly spray the back sides of the jewels. And let's just say I want them up here. And I'm just lightly gonna spray. And then I take, and that's all you do. You know, of course, when you're in the courtyard, you've got to have the majestic king's chair. You know, this was a lot of fun to make and build. I really enjoyed this one. And I'm gonna show you how we did it. If you look right here, what we did is we went to a thrift store and we got this old wooden chair that you can't even see behind here anymore, which is awesome. But we started with a basic chair that hardly cost us anything. Then what we did is we took our foam, our one inch foam, and we kind of doubled it up and this whole thing about the chair, it doesn't have to look exactly like this. You can make your chair higher, you can make it lower, you can make it fatter, you can make it thinner, whatever you want. And this is the best thing about this. I want you to be the artist and design and create your own chair. But what we did here is we took our foam and we doubled it up to get the weight and the heaviness of the chair. Then what I did is I designed this crown up on top. Then we went to a hobby store and we got these plastic gems. And look how it just glows and pops with this. Man, what a, what a majestic chair. Then we got batting. Now this was the fun part. We got batting and I had the volunteers rip up all the batting and we used a spray glue. Now be very careful, the spray glue is for foam because if it's not, it will melt the foam. Very, very important. So what we did is we sprayed on our glue and we tore up our batting and we glued it and patted it all down. We had this nice little puffy thing going on. Then we took another layer of batting and then we glued it along the edges and all the way down the back of our chair. And we took our red fabric, we laid it on, we cut it, 
to our contour of our seat of our chair, took that spray glue, just sprayed it around the edge and tucked it in the edge. And look at that. There's not one stitch in here. It's all glue, which makes it so fun. Then what we did is we took our nails and we pushed our nails through. Now in some parts where we pushed our nails through, went right into the center of the chair. So we had to use a hammer to get through. Then we took our jewels and we glued our jewels in there. And look at this, we have this beautiful tufted, majestic looking throne chair. It's just absolutely beautiful. So this was one piece here. Then we took our extra fabric. Now what I did here to make these arms look thicker is I took some foam and I doubled it up on this side and I put foam over here and wrapped it. And once I wrapped it, then we took the batting and we did two layers of batting to really get that bulk and that heaviness here of this big thick arm. And then after we did that, and then what we did is you just kind of went for it. You just took the red fabric, you dragged it around, you tied it off and you just kind of just have fun with it and tuck it here cut it there and glue it there is the best way to get a majestic looking king's chair like this.